Hey and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm just gonna talk about my first experience of the game Guild Wars 2. I'm gonna go into detail about a few different points uh, of the game. I've played for like two to three weeks. Actually no, one to two weeks I think. Is it? I don't even know to be honest. It's like around about two weeks. Um, I've been playing for like three to four hours live on stream so I've got like kinda a good idea of what the beginning of the game looks like and I thought you know what I'm just gonna make a video about it. And obviously this is just a first video, I'm gonna make another one once I get even more into the game where I can talk about even more stuff, but for now this is just the first one. Before we talk about the first points though, uh, let me just ask you kindly to put in the comments what your first experience was like in the game, so we can actually compare and talk about this, uh, what you would have changed in the game if you could, in the early game, what not, um, and maybe like or dislike the video if you enjoyed it or if you didn't and let me know in the comments also why you did or why you didn't uh feel free to also subscribe if you like my content i've done like two good Wars 2 videos so far and i'm planning on doing more um but obviously this is not a good Wars 2 only channel it is for now because i kind of got addicted to the game i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna see how long this phase lasts uh but uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see I'm, I'm open to everything basically Anyways, I got distracted. Uh, let's just start with the video and basically the first point that I want to talk about is the story in this game. Like I said, I played a few different games like MMOs before I played this one. So I kind of have a strong opinion on the story of the MMORPG. Uh, I never really liked it. Even in Final Fantasy where people are like, this is the sickest shit ever. It is a 10 out of 10 straight out the fucking Wazoo story. Uh, no, I didn't like it that much. Um, the story was good in the end, but pretty much 90% of the time I was kind of bored uh, playing the story of Final Fantasy. <laughs> I was even more bored when I was playing the story in World of Warcraft. But in this game, obviously, it's still not as good as obviously a story game which focuses on a story or like a series you watch. But it has some good things about it which is just like whenever I start playing and I like had the options to choose from and I chose like um, to not save the kills of the orphanage and they all burned to death I kind of thought I was sick man I didn't know um, that if I didn't save them they would all burn to, to death and just the hospital gets saved that I saved instead I thought it's like both get saved since usually MMOs don't have like multiple choices that changed the um, outcome of the story. So it was quite surprising. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, even to this point, I'm like level 80, so max level. I'm currently mastery point three, whatever the fuck. I don't know how to explain that properly. Since I'm not that good at the game yet, I don't know what term to use. But basically, I got there. Like, I am at the end of the core story. And even now, I can change the outcome of the story. I can choose different paths where I would either I would go to a one point in the map and do different quests there or like another and then just do different quests at another point of the map. Obviously there's something similar to that in like Black Desert or something like that, but I don't think it's as well made as in this game because this game actually makes sense if you choose one option because you see what your decision, you know, what the outcome of your decision was. There you go. Um, like I've said, the kids burn to death, so that's the outcome. Uh, if you choose the other option in Black Desert, then you, 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 literally don't give a, you, you, you literally don't give a fuck, okay? You don't give a fuck about what the other option was. You can play it on a different character, but let's be honest, nobody gives a fuck about that one. Um, besides that, obviously the story was kind of okay-ish for the base game. I haven't tried any expansion yet, story-wise, so we'll see about that in the future. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it for the story. I just thought I would mention the thing again that you have multiple choices that actually influence the story by a good chunk. Since I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, so I would rate the story like a 6 out of 10 so far, maybe like a 5. Um, in comparison to any kind of story game. If I, okay, if I do it that way then it's a 4 slash 5 out of 10. Uh, besides that, I've also tried PvP, which was actually fun. Uh, I just wish there was a 1v1 or 1v2 arena mode, which isn't there, really. I 
I think it's sad, but it is what it is. It's besides that the PvP is fun. Uh, the different game modes, different maps, all are pretty good. Uh, it's quite solid. I like outrate the PvP mode in this game like a seven out of ten to eight out of ten, maybe even. Um, I'll have to try it even more to see how balanced it is, but the first impression is like a 7 to 8, uh, to 8 out of 10. Yeah, besides the PvP and the story, I've also tried um, the jumping puzzles in this game, which were actually well designed, and the maps were quite big for the jumping puzzles. You even have some checkpoints at some point, which are just open world. Um, whenever I did it in Final Fantasy, it was literally four or like three small hidden jumping puzzles, which aren't really open world. Uh, like I said, just three of them were open world and they were just small and nothing special. Okay, it was actually five, but who gives a fuck. Um, the instance jumping puzzles were like good, I guess. But I don't know, I like it more in Guild Wars 2. Because in this game there's like actual challenges within the jumping puzzle. Sometimes you have to be very quick. Sometimes you have to uh, dodge things. Sometimes you have to wait, avoid shit. I don't like it that much that you get slowed when you're like in combat. I think it's quite weird, but hey, it is what it is. It's not that bad. Um, besides that, the jumping puzzles were actually quite sick, I gotta say. Uh, it's like a 8 out of 10 so far, but it might go up to a 9. I've seen some that I still have to try on videos, and just by looking at them, it's probably going to be a 9 out of 10, to be honest. There's very little that they can improve on. Um, just like I said, the combat point is going to get a point down for that shit, okay? I don't like it that much. I don't like that you get slowed and that fucks you off, uh, over completely. But yeah, besides that, there's not much more that I've tried. I've also tried strike missions, actually, and dungeons. That's actually a lot, to be honest. Um, I only said dungeons, I didn't say fractals, because it's kind of the same to me. Uh, the dungeons in this game... Well, what can I say about that? You obviously have no tank, so it's kind of... A bit weird, okay, I have to say. It's more confusing in comparison to uh, uh, Final Fantasy or Warcraft. It's not as good, I have to say. I have to be honest. Same for the strike missions, which are like a single boss, and that's it. I've tried three of them. They were interesting, but I'll have to try more. I, I don't want to comment too much on the strike missions. I just... The first glimpse was that they are not as good as the ones in Final Fantasy. But we'll have to see. Maybe they'll get better over time and that I, I would even consider it being close to Final Fantasy. Let me be honest here. I like I like the raiding and the fights in Final Fantasy way more in comparison to World of Warcraft, I have to be honest. I think World of Warcraft is way better than other points, but when it comes to dungeons and raids and everything like that, I think Final Fantasy is top tier. So yeah, this game was pretty good when it comes to strike missions. The dungeons I didn't like that much. I prefer the the, the, the casual tank heal DPS uh, group, which is like easy to get, easy to grasp, fun in a way. Uh, everyone has that role, everyone knows what, he's do knows what he's doing. Instead of everyone has a DPS, there might be a healer and if someone dies he has a chance to res himself. Try to res your mate if he dies. I think that's very chaotic um, and I didn't like it that much. Maybe I'll change my opinion whenever I get more into fractals, but I also only did like 1 to 25, which is the easiest version of it. And for now, it's like dungeons and fractals, I'd say. If Final Fantasy is a 10, and World of Warcraft is an 8, then Guild Wars is a 6 slash 7 out of 10, dungeon-wise. Mm, maybe a 6. And strike missions, the three that I've tried, I would say like 7 out of 10, probably. Like I said, World of Warcraft 9 out of 10, Final Fantasy 10 out of 10. Uh, strike missions so far, the ones I've tried, 7 out of 10, might go up to 8. If it's very good, maybe a 9 out of 10, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think max is gonna be 8 for this game, I don't think they can... I don't think that's gonna be possible. I think this game shines in other points so far, but it might change. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying it the way it is, okay? Mm, I'm just doing it as the one taker, by the way, so... I'm sorry about the brain lags and everything in the middle of this. I, Dude, I was just trying to stream. Then I was like, bro, I could just make a video instead and stream properly tomorrow since I'm kind of sleepy and I want to stream for a good chunk. 
So yeah, if you want to see the streams, by the way, don't forget to tune in on Twitch. Easy explosion. Follow if you want. Subscribe if you feel really fancy, but you don't have to, obviously. Uh, so I said, I think this is a good starting point for this video series. Just a few things that I've tried so far. Um, what my concerns are, what, I what I've liked so far. Um, obviously, I can still say like small things, like the moans, the way they work. I think this that is actually sick. I like it way more than in Final Fantasy because these moans have like an actual purpose and not just there uh, to not be used at all. Um, obviously, World of Warcraft already does it way better than Final Fantasy in that sense, but. World of Warcraft just introduced the idea of moans having a purpose instead of just being there for aesthetics or like bragging reasons. So, as of right now, I think Guild Wars is like a 9 out of 10, or like even maybe a 10 out of 10 moan wise. Uh, they just have to, I'd say 9, maybe like 8 to 9. Because the one thing that bothers me is that you can't get moans by doing achievements or like tasks or special shit in this game. You can get most of them just by getting gold and buying them from the shop, which is quite nice, but I like mounts that you can get by actually playing the game instead of farming gold and just buying them. I feel like that's more special. Obviously I'm talking about the mount skins, not the mounts themselves. If somebody wants to, you know, say that actually they are mount skins, yeah I know, I know. Um, yeah, besides that, I haven't really looked into the minions yet, titles, all of that. The weapons and the classes I've talked about in the last video in detail, what I like, what I don't like about them, I actually <laughs> accidentally talked about that already. To sum, sum it up, I love it. Um, yeah, to give it a number out of 10, 8 out of 10 probably. Uh, might go up though, to a 9. We'll see. The more I try, the more I learn. I haven't tried the specialization yet, so I don't know. This is a very long outro, by the way, so let me just cut, cut it down to a end to finish this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the one taker. Maybe I'll do more in the future where I just late at night talk about the game, talk about my uh, ideas, what I think, and yeah, maybe you'll share some ideas. Maybe you think I'm dumb. It's up to you. Anyways, thanks for watching again and goodbye. That's it. <laughs>